horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Although people went about their business in the normal way, there was tension over the little town of Three Forks, Sweetgrass County, Arizona Territory. Some two weeks before, a notorious gunman known as the Durango Kid had made a daring escape from the state prison where he was serving a life sentence for murder. Although posses had scoured the area, the escaped prisoner had eluded them. And now all peace officers were constantly on the alert. For the Durango Kid, a hardened and ruthless criminal, had sworn to take revenge on the man who sentenced him to prison. This man was Judge Scott, a fine upstanding champion of law and order in the West. The judge was in his office talking to one of the deputies. So uh, the sheriff sent me over, Judge, to act as sort of a guard. Not that he figures you'll need one. He just don't want to take any chances. Well, that's very thoughtful of the sheriff, I'm sure. But I'm quite prepared for a visit from the Durango kid. And it so happens I was one of the finest shots in Jeb Stewart's brigade. Yeah, I know, Judge. But you don't mind a little help, do you? I'll hang around outside. Won't get in your way. Well, all right. If it'll relieve the sheriff's mind. Uh, Judge Scott? Yes. Won't you come in? Thank you. Beg your pardon, ma'am. Now, don't be alarmed. I was expecting a different type of visitor. I don't suppose I'll ever get used to this country. There seems to be so much violence. Well, the West is young and youth is often violent. But don't make any mistake. This is a healthy country and it's growing. I'm sure you're right. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Perhaps I should introduce myself. I'm Molly O'Connell from Providence, Rhode Island. Well, Rhode Island's loss is Arizona's gain. What can I do for you, Molly? I'm not sure there's anything you can do. I'm on a rather unusual mission. Someone suggested that I see you and ask your advice. I'm searching for a brother. A brother? What is generally known as a long-lost brother. I suppose it's an old story. As a boy, he was inclined to be a little wild. A number of years ago, he was unjustly accused of a crime. He had to run away to escape arrest. We haven't seen him since. Then last spring, the authorities discovered new evidence which proved that he wasn't guilty of the crime they'd charged him with. He's been issued a pardon. I'm out here now to find him. Well, why did you come here? He wrote us at intervals for several years. The last letter we received, about six months ago, came from this town. Well, this should simplify the problem if he's still in Three Forks. Could you recognize him? I'm afraid not. You see, I was very small when he ran away, just five years old. He was only 16 himself. He wouldn't know me, and I wouldn't know him. But you have a description. It's rather vague. Our mother and father are both dead. I only know what they told me about him. He's tall, dark, rather quiet. That's about all I know. Well, there are a lot of men in this area who would answer to that description. But you must have something else to go on. Well, there is one thing. When he left, he took with him a watch, a big gold watch. It had belonged to my grandfather. There's a picture of me inside. He mentioned it in several of his letters. Said he was keeping it to remember me by. I know it isn't much, but it may help. Well, a story in the paper might help. Do you think the local paper would be interested? The editor's a friend of mine. I'll talk to him about it. I'd be so grateful. That's all right. I want to do what I can. By the way, where are you staying? At the hotel, room 14. Well, we're neighbors. I have number 13 just across the hall. I'll talk to Jim Benton this afternoon, and I'll let you know tonight what he says. Uh, I'm sure everything's going to be all right. <laughs> What happened? It's a Durango kid. He just robbed the express office. Durango kid? Yeah, and I think I winged him. Did he get away with much? No, there wasn't much in the safe, but he cleaned out everything I had in my pockets. He must be getting desperate trying to pull a daylight holdup. Come on, I want you in the posse. I'll be right with you, Sheriff. You all right, miss? Yes, I, I think so. I'm sorry I had to be rough with you, but you were right in the line of fire. I had to act quickly. We needn't apologize. You probably saved my life. Well, I don't know about that. I just did what I could. You were very brave. If you'll excuse me now, I'm going to join that posse.
out of town. Was something wrong? Durango Kid come out of hiding, Kimasabe. Him rob express office at Three Forks. Rob the express office? Ah, I mean, just come from there. Well, that'll make it easier for us to pick up the Durango Kid's trail. What I don't understand is robbing the express office. I expected him to make some move against Judge Scott, as he threatened to do. Now, maybe Durango Kid just make big talk, Kimasabe. Perhaps. Nevertheless, we'll try to pick up his trail. He's a vicious outlaw, Tano, and he mustn't get away. Ah. Bowie! Put up your hands, both of you, and keep them there. You're making a mistake, Sheriff. We're not outlaws. Then how come you're wearing a mask? It's not against the law to wear a mask. Besides, I have good reason for wearing mine. I never saw a respectable citizen wear one. Wait a minute, Sheriff. Are those silver bullets you're carrying, mister? That's right. A masked man on a white horse carrying silver bullets. And he has an Indian companion. Don't you know who he is? Well, I'll be hornswoggled. I've heard a lot about you, mister, and that's all been good. Say, what is this, anyhow? Oh, never mind, Slim. Just put your gun away. I know the man. I didn't recognize him. I'm sorry, mister. We can't take any chances. You know, the Durango kid's on the loose. I know. Have you found his trail? Oh, we chased him about three miles out of town, and then he crossed the river, and then we lost the trail. That's the reason I split the posse up to cover more ground. Any idea where he's headed? Mm, no, but Larry thinks he winged him. And if he did, why, well, he's probably headed for the border to hold up a while. How much did he get away with? Well, he took what was in the safe and cleaned out my pockets. I'm the clerk at the express office. Oh, it didn't amount to much, considering the risk the kid took. It's strange he would even attempt a daylight robbery when he knows everyone's after him. Well, we all thought he'd come gunning for Judge Scott. We were prepared for that. But I guess the kid's lost his nerve. Well, the Durango kid was never lacking in nerve. Or brains either. That's why I don't understand this. Well, while we're sitting here joint, he's just getting further away. You want to come with us, mister? No, Tonto and I will go our own way. Perhaps we'll meet later. All right, so long. Come on, fellas. Why are we not doing posse cues on me? The sheriff has all the help he needs, Tonto. I'm not so sure he's going to find his man. There's something peculiar about this. Why would the Durango kid risk a daylight robbery at a time like this for such a small amount of cash? What do you think? Well, you heard what the sheriff said. The judge was guarded. Perhaps the kid discovered that and pulled a trick to draw the sheriff and his men out of town. Do you think Durango kid doubled back and tried to get judge? I think it's highly possible. If that's true, the judge caught in danger now. Yes, we better head for town. <laughs> Don't scream. It'll be the last time you do. Who are you? Never mind that. Come over here and sit down. What are you planning to do? I have an appointment with a neighbor of yours. He lives across the hall. I'm going to wait for him here, where I can watch from the window and make sure he comes home alone. And then I'm going to pay him a little visit. Judge Scott? Yeah, the man who sent me to prison for life. You're going to kill him? That's right, lady. I'm going to kill him. Just like I promised. You're the Durango kid, aren't you? Hard to guess. This must be the judge's room. Didn't the man tell you it was number 13? Mm, that's right, King Sammy. Not here. Perhaps he's still at his office. We'll try there. Look, him some blood spots. You're right, Tonto. They lead to that door. The young man in a posse said he thought he wounded the kid. We better investigate this. Are you expecting someone? No. I have no idea who it is. All right. Go to the door, but don't let him in. I'll be 
standing right behind you with this gun on your back. And if you make a false move, you'll get it, and so will your visitor. Don't be frightened by my mask. I'm here as a friend. What do you want? There's a desperate criminal at large. He might be somewhere in this hotel. Have you heard or seen anything unusual? No, nothing at all. Are you quite sure? Quite sure. I'm sorry to have bothered you. If you do hear anything, I hope you'll report it to the proper authorities. Of course I will. And I hope you catch this criminal. Don't worry. We'll get him. He's in that room, Tonto. Huh. He's probably holding a gun on the girl. If we force our way in, we may endanger her life. Mm -hmm. What do we do? You ride after the sheriff and his men. I'm going to see Judge Scott. I think I have a plan that we get the Durango kid out of that room. I'll leave you untied this time. But I'll say it again. If you make a false move, I'll let you have it. Understand? I understand. Now, uh, that man at the door, was he a big, tall fellow? Yes. Thought so. A masked man. Who is he? Uh, he's another one I have a score to settle with. And if the judge comes first. We shouldn't have long to wait. One thing about the judge, he's always on time. to leave your door unlocked at a time like this. Just don't touch that gun. Well, why don't you shoot? I didn't come here to kill you. I came here as a friend. You're talking to the wrong man, mister. I'm a judge. I've had experience with men who wear masks. Your experience should tell you when a man is speaking the truth. Perhaps this will help convince you. Who are you? Someone who hopes to save your life. You're in great danger. If you're referring to the Durango kid, that danger is past. The sheriff is on his trail now with a posse. You're mistaken, Judge. The Durango kid is in a room at the hotel. What? He's probably waiting to kill you. But the hold up at the express office, he... That was just a ruse to draw the sheriff and his men out of town. How do you know this? I just came from the hotel. There's a girl in the room with the kid. I couldn't make a move without endangering her. He's holding her a prisoner. Molly O'Connell? You know her? Yes, she was here to see me about a missing brother. Her life is in danger, too. I'm going after the Durango kid. Wait. You're a brave man, Judge Scott. But that would only be foolhardy, and it would increase the girl's peril. What else is there to do? I can't leave her there with that man. I know a way to get him out of that room. What do you propose to do? If my theory is correct, the kid plans to take you by surprise. I'm going to surprise him. I'm going to take your place. You? I'll have to borrow some of your clothes. I have the rest of what I need here. Why should you take this risk? I think I'm a little quicker on the draw than you are, Judge. Besides, this is my business. I don't suppose there's anything I could say that would dissuade you from this plan. Nothing, lady. I don't know what your crime was, but Judge Scott was only doing his duty when he sentenced you to prison. Why do you single him out for your hatred? I don't single anyone out. I hate all lawmen. But the judge is the first one I'm going to get. You're very bitter, aren't you? Not me, lady. I just know where I stand. Perhaps you've never tried to get along with the law or with other people. Perhaps if don't you... Don't preach to me. I know what I'm doing and you don't. Maybe I know more than you realize. You see, someone very close to me got into trouble with the law once. My brother. I can't help thinking he might have the same attitude that you have. Even though in his case, the law made a mistake. Get this straight, lady. I don't know about your brother, but the law didn't make any mistakes in my case, ever. I wonder how he feels now. I wonder how he's turned out. Well, here comes the judge. Right on time. You're not going to shoot him down in cold blood. Well, not the street, lady. We'll let him get to his room, then I'll pay my little visit.
settle down. Meanwhile, I'd better tie you up again. What's the matter with you? That watch. Where did you get it? What difference does that make? Let me see it. Please. You're... You're Jimmy. Huh? You don't know me, do you? Know you? I'm Molly. Your sister. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll get your hands behind you. No, you can't. You mustn't. You can't go through with this Do now. what I say. Make it fast. You don't want to know me, do you? You don't want to remember. Look, lady, I have no time to play games now. You're going to do what I tell you? Very well. There, that ought to hold you. I'm going to put this gag on you, too, just in case you take a notion to yell. Wait. You can't go across the hall. Not now. It might be a trap. Say that again. The masked man, I, I signaled to him at the door. He knows you're in here. If you go across the hall now, you might be killed. I can't let that happen, even though you may deserve it. Well, what do you know about that? Please go now, quickly. Go? I never want to see you again. No. That's no way to talk. Not after we just found each other, sister. Please. If I go now, the masked man will be on my trail in no time. And he never gives up. You can't stay here. They know where you are. Sooner or later, they're bound to come for you. Well, I'm planning to go. But I just want a little head start. You can help me get it. What do you want me to do? All I want is just a little help. Here, let me untie it, and then I'll explain it to you. You. I thought I heard Judge Scott come in. Where's the kid? He's gone. He ran away. When? Just now. I didn't hear anyone leave your room. He went out through the window. All right, Mr. Reach. I dropped that gun. All right, now turn around. Looking for someone? I was looking for you. But you walked right into a trap. Now listen, mister, I got just one question. You better answer it fast. Where's Judge Scott? You know I'll not tell you. You'll talk or I'll... Wait. You're not going after the judge now. You said you'd given that up. Did I? Yes. You said you only wanted to tie this man up so you'd have a chance at a getaway. That's the reason I helped you. Well, I've changed my plans again. All right, mister. Talk. You can't do this. You, you can't... You stay out of this. I can't believe you're my brother. Brother? Yeah, I'm her long-lost brother. We just found each other. That's why she helped me trick you. Oh, she's got real family feeling. It's hard to believe that you're related to any decent family. Yeah, well, I got proof I'm her brother. I got a picture of her. When she was a little girl, right in this watch. But there's another thing about this watch. It keeps perfect time. And I'm giving you just 10 seconds to answer my question. Two of them are gone already. Six seconds left. You'll never get away with this, I'm warning you. Four seconds. Two seconds. No, please. Nice shooting, Larry. Why did you have to shoot him? I don't care what he's done. He wasn't bad, not to begin with. If he's turned bad, it's because you made him that way by hounding him all his life. You never gave him a chance. Is this man your brother? Yes. I'm sorry. Better get him out of here, Slim. Just a minute. Now, Slim. All right, kid. Let's go. Do those belong to you? Yes. 
These are the things he took from me when he robbed the express office this morning. And this is one thing I wouldn't want to lose. That's your watch? Yes, I've had it for years. And it means a lot to me. Then you must be Jimmy. I'm Molly, your sister. Molly? It's all right, Jimmy. You don't have to worry anymore. They cleared you of that crime back home. They know you're innocent. That's right. She told me all about it this morning. That's why she came out here, to find you. You can come home now. Molly, the West is my home. And I want it to be yours, too. Well, it looked like it all ended happily after all. Yes, we owe it all to the masked man. I still don't know who he is. I didn't either at first. I should have recognized him, though. We're both in the same business, dispensing justice. Molly, you can tell all your friends that you were rescued by the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver! Hello! 